All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of What's New in Scootering. I'm Matisse Hawthorne here. And if you haven't seen the last video that we posted, uh, it was a custom build off. I was featured in it. I built one of the builds. You'll have to go find out and see if you haven't seen it already. And today I'm gonna be showing you some new parts that have been added to the scooter community. So today we're gonna be starting off with some bars made by Affinity. We have some new apparel and some bags and as well as the new wheels by Meta. So let's start off with the bars. So here we have the Elliott Arnold signature bars made by Affinity. And as you can see, this comes in a chrome color. Uh, this is 24 by 28, this is made in the USA. And these bars are gonna come in standard or oversized. So if you wanna run HIC, SES, IHC, all of that can be done with this. As you can see from the back, the bar doesn't come with a slit. So if you did wanna run IHC or HIC, uh, when you do purchase the bar in the checkout, you're just gonna have to ask to put in a slit. That's a $3 charge, can be done. And they work perfectly. So this is chromoly steel, as I said before. So it's not gonna be super light. Like if you wanted a titanium bar, this may not be the bar for you but regardless, this is still gonna be a great bar. Affinity bars are extremely reliable, and if you wanted to run some bars, if you wanted to run like a street scooter, this would be the bar for you. Any Affinity bar is great, and I would definitely recommend this because Elliot Arnold is a great rider, and if you don't know who he is, I'd look him up on YouTube because he's he has some hammer edits out there, and he's been riding for almost as long as scootering has been a thing, so. Definitely check him out if you don't know who he is. Affinity is one of those brands that pay the riders the most, so they just want to give a special thanks to all of the riders that have been supporting them. So this was great for them to do so. So if you like this bar, I would definitely pick it up. All right, so next up on the list, we have the Northern Limited Peace Prism T-shirt. So this is made by one of my friends, Daniel Cardenas. Northern Limited is a rider-owned company created by Daniel Cardenas. Uh, if you don't know who he is, definitely check him out. If you don't know who Northern Limited is, I would definitely check them out too because they create clothing uh, that you just feel comfortable in, you can ride in. It's just an all-around great apparel company and I would definitely check them out because we don't have that many scooter clothing companies in our community and we just need some more. So. He's doing big things, and as you can see with this shirt, uh, this was a great collaboration. Designed by one of my good friends, Matt Vasquez. If you don't know who he is, check him out. Milky Matt on IG. Uh, he's the man, and he definitely created something sick. As you can see on the front, it's a nice little triangle. That's kind of what Northern Limited is. Like, that's their big logo. So Matt incorporated his hands, and that's what he's great at creating. He loves to draw hands, that's his thing. It's the same logo on the back, and this shirt does come in a small and a large, so if you wanna cop it, definitely cop it. Um, you'd be supporting not only Matt, but all the Northern Limited homies. Also coming from Northern Limited, we do have their new blue dad hat. Uh, all around, it's a great hat, great quality. Um, doesn't really seem like it's gonna break, or it's not flimsy. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. And it does have their Northern logo on the front. So it's pretty simple, pretty elegant, and there's really nothing much else to say about that. Yeah. Next up on the list, we do have a long sleeve made by the vault. So winter's coming, guys. It's gonna get a lot colder out. So if you do need something to just keep yourself a little bit warm while you're out there shredding the parks or shredding the streets, this is definitely the shirt for you. This comes with a scooter on the front and the vault logo on the back, and they're both upside down, uh, basically the disordered style. So. Uh, it's a similar logo to what we've used in the past, and we definitely killed it with this one. So if you do need a long sleeve, this is definitely for you. It comes from sizes youth medium up to extra large. Next up, we have the happy hour sock. So this is made by the Mucho Relaxo crew. On the top of the sock, you're gonna have a pineapple sitting on top of the foot with the letters H and H for happy hour. On the bottom, you have Mucho. As you can see, it's upside down, but you get the point. So these socks are definitely gonna help you stand out. They definitely killed it with this sock and they're known for creating uh, really unique glasses and unique socks. So definitely cop this if you're feeling them. Now we're gonna be moving on to the bum bag. All right, so here we go. We have a black corduroy bag right here and this does come in another color. I think it was a red, blue, and yellow, but currently it was out of stock. Thanks Dalton for that. Um, but we should be getting more in the future. So has the strap inside. It's pretty elegant and simple. Uh, there's a nice little like hourglass looking thing. I think it's supposed to represent a, uh, what are those spiders called? Like the really poisonous ones? Black Widows. Black Widows, Black Widows, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to represent on the on the strap right here. And you, yeah, definitely, because you do have the, the little back of it right here on the front. So on the inside, there's actually a lot of space. I know a lot of people are getting into these types of bags. So if you still haven't gotten one for yourself, we do have a bunch in stock. If you don't like this color, uh, it does come in some a few other colors. We have like green and purple and a camo. So if you like those, definitely check them out. 
Um, on the inside, we do have a bunch of space, so if you wanted to put like a charger in there, if you want to put some pencils in here for some reason, uh, you definitely do that. And then in the front, you do have a small little Velcro pouch. So if you want to put some stickers in there, I know that's where I put mine when I have, when I use my bag. Um, on the inside right here, there's not a lot of space, but you just put anything in there. Like you have gum, it's a good spot for gum. So that wraps up all the apparel. And before we get into the meta wheels, we're going to be reading some comments made by you guys. So let's hop into that. All right, so we're going to hop on the vault staff seater check and just look for some comments, look through. Oh, found one by OK Boomer 19 hours ago. So he says, literally everyone has SCS. And you know what, bud? It's true. Everyone here rides street. We're all bigger people and we need SCS just to have some extra strength. <laughs> Kaylee Culp asks, where is Scooter Brad? <laughs> Scooter Brad doesn't work he at doesn't the vault. He work here. <laughs> he lives in New Zealand, I think. Yeah, he's definitely not going to come here just for one video and he definitely does not work here. Where is Matisse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here now. <laughs> and there's an S and an E at the end of that. Don't forget it, buddy. Let's check out the Halloween custom build off video. Oh, found one right here. Made by your boy. Dang, that pumpkin build is looking pretty sweet. LOL. You know what, buddy? Whoever you are, M Matthias Hop. A thorn? He's definitely speaking facts. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. Pick out Scooter Slam Sunday. This is by a Quincy Gold Drainer. Shout out to him. Uh, it says, Sean feels bad. And then it goes space down. And it's Matisse laughs at everyone. I just can't help it. It's just hard not to laugh at. So this last comment is coming in from Stenzel Bro. So he says, love your channel. I love you guys. You inspire me to keep writing. Keep up the good work. And we love you too. We love all of the fans here that support us at the vault. And you guys definitely mean the most to us because without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So thank you. All right, so now that we finished that up, let's move into these meta wheels. We're gonna start it off with the Andrew Zamora meta wheel and the Tommy Cristiano meta wheel. So these two are 24 millimeters wide and they do come with bearings and they are sold in pairs. So if you did wanna get a pair and you're worrying about if you need to only buy one or if you need to buy two, uh, they do come in pairs, so you only need to buy one. Unless you want to cop too. Let's start off with the Andrew Zamora wheel just because I know that the most. He's coming in with a creamy little color on the outside and a gray smoke on the inside. On the urethane, he does have airplanes flying by and he's a nice little city. Angie lives right by the airport. Uh, that has been a big part of who he is and where he's become. And you can see that on his SIG deck. So I would definitely cop these wheels. Uh, they look great. And they would actually match well with the native emblem grips. So if you wanted to go with a nice little like Color scheme, I'd definitely choose those grips with these wheels because they'd match perfectly. As you can see on Angie's custom build. So go check that out. Next up, we have the Tommy Christiana wheels. So this comes in a maroon color with black on the outside and yellow text. And you might be seeing these in a custom build fairly soon, who knows? You just gotta stay tuned and uh, just watch out. Hit the notification bell. Yes, yeah, so this wheel is looking pretty sweet. Uh, he has leaves all around it. I think that's a dove on both sides. I'm just gonna guess that it's a dove. Tommy, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I don't really know, but I hope it's a dove. I'm just gonna guess that it is. But these are all looking pretty sweet and these are 86A grade polyurethane. Now that we have these done, uh, we're gonna move on to the next set of meta wheels. I did wanna cover these separately because these wheels only come in 110s and 24 millimeters wide. So if you do have a seater that runs only 24 and only 110s, then these are gonna be the wheels for you because they do not come in 120s and they don't come 30 millimeters wide. The White Trash Willy signature wheels though do come in two different sizes. So first you have the 24 by 110 size. So this fits along with the Anju and the Tommy Christiana wheels. And he has another size. So this is coming in at 30 millimeters wide by 120 millimeters. If you wanted a bigger wheel, this is definitely gonna be the wheel for you. This wheel does come with clear urethane as you can tell. And that sets this wheel apart from many other wheels just because that really isn't done that much in the scooter community other than Proto Envy. Nope, just Proto and Envy. Hats off to you, White Trash Willie. You're getting two different sizes, which also hasn't been done in the scooter, the scooter community for SIG wheels. So that is pretty sick. So if you're thinking about riding 30 millimeter wheels, I would definitely just send it. All right, guys, so that has really been it for the Meta wheels. Uh, shout out to Meta. They really killed it with all of these signature wheels and the Luis Barrios wheels. Um, they're definitely out there doing big things to support their riders, which I definitely back. And I know 
a lot of other people in the skater community back. So hats off to you. And that is gonna conclude this video of what's new in scootering, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about these wheels, drop them in the comments. I'll definitely respond to them and help you out. Uh, if you have any other questions about anything, uh, hit up our Instagram, DM us. Uh, we're always responding to comments and questions on there. So definitely hit us up there. And if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube, uh, like, comment, all that good stuff that you guys love to do. And that is gonna be it. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram too, at Matisse Hawthorne, you know, gotta throw in that shameless plug right there, but you know, you gotta do it. So that's gonna be it guys, thank you.